he read the title. So to quickly get into some background of this, for the 2023 SBS Gaio Daejeon Awards, they announced that Espo was going to do a special performance on DBSK's slash TBXQ's song Merotic in commemoration of their 20th anniversary. To which I responded to this by the stupid tweet. Merotic is a pretty nostalgic song, I will say, at least just because I kind of knew this song right when it got released and I really couldn't stop binging this music video <laughs> when I was younger. So I kind of had this song ingrained in my head and I was very interested to see how Espo was going to execute performing this song and such. To which overall, I think they did a really solid job. For me personally, I just like how this performance allows the members to essentially be more versatile in a way. But it's probably just because I don't watch enough ESPA performances. <laughs> when I was initially watching this, when I saw it on my Twitter timeline, I was just kind of, you know, like, I knew the anticipation that was going to build up because it's Merotic. Merotic, in my opinion, has one of the most iconic intros to a song. Or just like those beats playing and such. And like just seeing them crouch down. It's like, you know something is going down. And then immediately... It transitions to an orchestral rendition. And it's like, you got Winter covering J. June's first line. And it's like, all right, we're in for something, all right? <laughs> so obviously besides Winter's first line, or like Winter covering the first line, to my surprise, and I think many others too, they actually gave Ning Ning a rap verse. Which I think is cool. I, I like Ning Ning. So, like, I like how they can show. Like, I like how they give her a vocal verse. And then, like, they can give also give her a rap verse, too. And then Karina. Again, she doesn't have as... I would want to say she doesn't have as much lines. But, uh, for what she's given... I think it works. She predominantly has a rap line, but she also does have like a line in the chorus, to which I always really like Karina's uh, versatility between a vocal line and a rap line. So I appreciate that a lot. And lastly, Giselle, I like that most of her lines in this are vocal. Because again, just like Ning Ning, I like how they basically swap them. I was just like, Ning Ning, I wouldn't say predominantly raps, because again, Giselle does get a rap verse. Not verse, but a line. But like, she does, she gets to show off more of her vocal talents, to which I appreciate. To which means we have to get into the flip side of things. Before we get to the big one, um, I think my personal gripe with this performance is that it's way too short <laughs> because basically if you were to do this kind this edit of the song to the original song Junsu doesn't have any lines or he barely has lines and that's just jarring <laughs> um because of the way they cut chop the song up it kind of ruins the pacing of it in my opinion <laughs> but then again that's because like I know the song by heart so it's just like, I don't know, I kind of, I kind of would have preferred if they were given like another 30 seconds or so. And the biggest piece of contention, uh, the lack of Giselle's presence. So despite the fact that you heard me beforehand complimenting them of like allowing Ning Ning to rap a line and Giselle to sing more, I personally think it's probably because of the pacing, but at the same time, though, it's just like... So if we look at it from a distribution standpoint, we have Ning Ning rapping, Karina rapping, Giselle rapping, and then back to Ning Ning doing a high note. To which, it's a nice high note, but why did they feel the need of, like, sandwiching Ning Ning between Karina and Giselle? I... 
I personally do think Giselle probably should have just gotten that first line. I have to agree with people just on Giselle's lack of presence because the vocal lines Giselle have are good, but the thing is that they're the same line. <laughs> so it's just like, I don't know. Do I give you the point or do I slap you? <laughs> But despite that, like, I still think this is a pretty fun performance overall. I think another thing I want to point out is just, I kind of wish this was a station release. Because <laughs> it's just like, I do want to hear this thing in full. And hopefully see if, like, the distribution is, like, better or something like that. Because, like, for Boa's 20th anniversary, they made four station releases, I, I believe. Of just gathering artists to cover prominent uh, Boa songs. So I kind of, because of the fact, I think from what we know, because it's literally almost going to be December 26th, they're not doing a winter album this year. So it's just like, I'm pretty sure they could have just thrown together some station covers. Like, again, Rise with Rising Sun and Espo with Marotic. And then, like, I don't know, you can probably select two more groups or artists within the label just to cover other songs and such like i definitely would have been fully up for a station release for marotic i don't need a i don't need it to be promoted or anything just just do a live performance <laughs> which i guess is what we got but yeah um pretty neat overall <laughs>